Hey folks, so with AMD's recently released Zen 5 CPU generation, you may be thinking now that your build is complete, Windows is installed, can you squeeze any extra performance out of the components you've spent your hard earned money on? But you don't really want to get into all of the advanced overclocking that you see some of these other YouTubers doing. Well fortunately, with just a few simple tweaks to your motherboard's BIOS, you can squeeze quite a bit of additional performance out of your new hardware. So to enter your BIOS, just make sure you are tapping the delete key on the keyboard as your computer first boots up, and that will allow you to access this software. Now, because I have an MSI motherboard, I have their BIOS software, but if you have another brand's motherboard, it may look a little different, but most of the features should be the same. Now, the first thing I notice when loading up the BIOS is that my RAM frequency is 4,800 megahertz. And this isn't very good because my actual memory is rated at up to 6,000 megahertz. So this has to do with your RAM sticks. So the first thing you want to do is enable XMP and there's really no reason not to do this and it is so simple. All you need to do is simply click a button. In my case with this MSI BIOS I just tap this button here and that will enable the XMP profile for my memory and right now it's still th saying 4800 but if I go ahead quit and restart the BIOS and there we have it, 6,000 megahertz. So really easy, single button click for the change and that automatically gives us a hefty performance boost. Next up, if we head over to the fan info, we can actually go ahead and adjust our curves here, which is a little bit more advanced. So you may want to not do that for a while. There will be other YouTube tutorials to help you with it. Now, before we go into the other settings, it is worth just seeing that your CPU core temperature and motherboard temperature are located up here as well. If you can't see them there, then you can always access the hardware monitor and you'll find them around here. And I recommend checking these temperatures as soon as you have completed your build and turned your computer on for the first time. That will at least help you be aware that you have installed the CPU, fan and heatsink correctly. Although the motherboard would probably warn you about this anyway. Now something you may be tempted to enable is Game Boost which you can simply do with a click of a button over here. And that will be MSI's means of automatically overclocking your CPU with the settings it thinks are appropriate. Now, in my experience, the gain boost is not very efficient whatsoever. And I actually wouldn't recommend using it, even if it means you're not gonna be doing any overclocking at all. I still don't think that gain boost is worth it in the long run, so I'm gonna keep this turned off. Head over to Advanced. And a couple of things we're going to want to look at. In the top menu option, which is the PCIe slash PCI subsystem settings, resize bar may be disabled by default. If it is, make sure that is enabled as long as you have a GPU that supports it. So modern GPUs from both Nvidia and AMD, such as the 30 series and 40 series GPUs from Nvidia should support this technology. This will allow your CPU to access more of the GPU at any one time and it's just a flat out performance increase with very little if any downside at all. Next up we can head down to AMD overclocking and select accept. Now don't worry I mentioned we're not doing anything advanced here but one thing we can do is enable precision boost overdrive. This is AMD's in-house proprietary technology that will allow you to get a lot more juice out of your CPU without having to really go into the advanced settings. And all you need to do is select it here and choose enabled. That's it, that's all you need to do. You will have precision boost overdrive enabled and you will be getting a lot more performance out of your CPU than if it was disabled. But be aware that if you are constantly pushing your CPU to its limits with precision boost overdrive, it is going to be getting very hot regularly and that could effectively reduce the overall lifespan of your CPU. Okay, so let's head back out of this menu now. So when you are ready, simply head down to save and exit and then hit save changes and reboot. So folks, there we have it, just a few simple settings that pretty much anybody can adjust, even with very little technical knowledge in their motherboard's BIOS. Now, if you do mess up, you can always reset your BIOS settings to their default values. 
that is simply an option that you can use within the BIOS itself. And so if you did make any mistakes or want to revert any changes, that's a quick way of doing it. But those settings are generally pretty safe that I've shown you. If you think there's any settings that I've missed that are easy to turn on and actually provide a good boost, then please do share those down in the comments as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.